So I want to talk about something a little less common than encountering hikers, and that's equine activity. So uh, horses you might see out on the trail. Um, we don't see them very often here. Um, I was out on a ride. The one I just posted about Blue Knob there, back on July 9th, we were up riding Blue Knob. And it's not something that I discussed with my boys a whole heck of a lot, but we've discussed how to, you know, how to go about encountering hikers and everything. And I'm proud to say they actually handled this pretty well. Hey, stop your bike and get off. So as you see here, my boy did the right thing. He stopped his bike, got off his bike, moved it over as far to the side as he could and stood on the other side of his bike to wait for these horses to pass. The reason you do that is you don't want to do anything that could possibly spook their horses. And they may not be used to seeing bikes. Now we're gonna be courteous, say hello to them, maybe make some small chat as they pass by. Again, we're representing the mountain bike community. Hi. Hey. Hi, thank you. Oh, we don't know if they're used to seeing bikes. Don't want to scare them. <laughs> oh, they, they see all kinds of stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. Enjoy, fellas. So as you can see, we chose to move off to the right side of the trail. We would want to be on the uphill side of the trail. And I know it's hard to see right here. Zoom in a little bit. Shout out to my older two boys. As you can see, they were both off the side of the trail waiting for these horses to pass. Great job, guys. I'm proud to say that, you know, my boys did well. The, the older two were up ahead of me. They were already dismounted off their bikes and off to the side of the trail on the opposite side of their bike, waiting for the horses to pass. Of course, I reminded my youngest one who was with me. He was slowing down. We just got off the trail, and we tried to get as far off of the trail as possible. It was kind of double-track trail. I mean, it, it was reasonably wide, so there was a decent amount of space, but we still got our bikes as far off to the side as we could, stood on the other side of our bikes and uh, let the horses pass. So shout out to my boys there. Great job handling the situation properly, giving the uh, horseback riders right away over us. So a few things I've looked up online and what I've read. Feel free to um, hit up the comments below. Correct me if I'm wrong on anything, but uh, a few points of that. If you're coming up, approaching them from the opposite direction, before you get to them, slow down, maybe 50 to 100 feet out. You're going to want to dismount your bike. Go ahead and move off as far off the trail as possible. Um, give as much room as you can, even getting your feet off the trail. If at all possible, you want to try to um, position yourself on the uphill side. Something spooks that horse. It's going to try to gain its footing. It might slide downhill, so you want to avoid that. You want to avoid doing anything that's going to spook that horse. So stand there quietly. Um, you may... You may be able to talk to them as they're going past, give them greeting of the day. Hey, how's it going? Beautiful day, whatever, whatever. Um, just being courteous with them. Horses will tend to notice a human voice much better than a bell or signaling device, something like that. They'll recognize a human voice as a friendly voice and uh, hopefully not be spooked by it. Obviously, you don't want to yell and carry on, talk, you know, normally and allow them to pass. Once they're passed, get back on your bike, keep riding, cool. Yes, it may ruin a downhill, it may ruin an uphill climb you got going, but you want to give them the right of way over you, and you want to represent mountain biking community well. Um, if you're approaching them from behind, probably about 50 to 100 feet out again, you're going to want to call out to them, um, let them know they're behind you, again, using human voice, not a bell or other signaling device. And as I said, please, slow down when you're approaching them. And if they acknowledge you, you know, maybe ask them the best way if they want you to dismount and walk around them or if you're good to ride around them. The fellows we encountered said they, the horses probably wouldn't have been spooked by the bikes, but we erred on the side of caution. Again, wanting to represent the mountain biking community properly and be courteous to those riders. I mean, we fall off our bikes, a bike lands on top of us, okay? You know, if they go off a horse, a horse gets spooked, kicked them off, they could potentially have a... a I don't even know what horses weigh, you know, but a thousand pound horse laying on top of them, okay? Um, much, much worse of a day for them. And hey, just like there's beginners and novices in mountain biking, there's beginners on horseback riding too. So, you know, they may not have the skill set that a more experienced rider. So don't, don't assume they're an experienced rider. Just to recap, you want to dismount your bike, allow them to pass, or walk past them if you're moving faster than they are. If they tell you it's okay to ride around them, I mean, hey, that, that whatever, follow their directions there. They know their horses best. But again, represent the mountain biking community and show them the, 
show them the uh, appropriate courtesy and respect that's due to them. So if you enjoyed this video, feel free to like it. Comment below any suggestions, correction on anything I might have said that's inaccurate or wrong. I might definitely be well way off on the weight of the horses. That that's okay. I mean, I admit I don't I don't know that much about equine activity. Um, I love horses; they're pretty to look at, but I don't know the first thing about riding them or taking care of them. So feel free to correct me or give me any additional pointers. Anything else I might have missed? Um, Hey, feel free to comment, let me know, let the other um, viewers know what's up with that. Feel free to share my video. Um, it's not something I see a whole lot of instruction for on YouTube videos, so feel free to share this one. And if you want to see more videos coming out from me, hit subscribe. You're going to have to hit the uh, bell notification in order to receive uh, notification of the latest videos coming out from me since subscribing apparently is not enough. But that's all I have for you tonight. Once again, ride safe out.